everybody. It's Scott. Welcome back to the one-off shop. I uh, hope everybody's enjoying those stuffed pork chops that we did last time. Uh, this time, if you remember, I said we were going to do something with some coconut. So today we're going to be making some coconut bars with some almonds. Stick around. It's going to be good. First thing you're going to want to do is get you a 9 by 13 pan, get it lined with some foil, and give it a good spray with some Pam. If you've got your pan grease and you got your oven preheating to 325, next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting on the base of our cookie. Uh, so we're going to start off with one cup of uh, softened butter. So let's go ahead and get that in our bowl. That's going to be two sticks. Just needs to be room temperature, doesn't need to be melted. All right, next thing we're going to be putting in is two cups of flour. What we're making here is a shortbread. That's going to be the base of our cookie. Let's get one. And two. All right, there's our flour. Next thing we're going to put in is a half a cup of powdered sugar. That's where all the all the sweetness is going to come from in our shortbread. Pardon me. Didn't realize this was not open. Get that opened up. All right, so we're going to do half a cup of powdered sugar. Half a cup of powdered sugar. Now, as always, when I do my stuff, I use salted butter so I don't add salt. But if you, uh, if you use unsalted butter in your recipe, uh, right now you can go ahead and add a half a teaspoon of salt to this as well. Um, there's also, we're going to add uh, one tablespoon of lemon juice. Put in our one tablespoon of lemon juice. Alright, that's all of our ingredients for the shortbread. We're going to go ahead and get it on the mixer and start getting it turned up. Alright, we've got it on our mixer here and we've got our mixing blade on. Let's go ahead and raise our bowl up. Get our mixer plugged in here. And we're going to start it off slow until it starts to come together. Let that blade start chopping up that butter a little bit. Go ahead and bring it up to one. This is going to take a little bit. You're going to have to let it go for a few minutes until everything comes together. Once you got your dough back here on your table, go ahead and uh, take this out of your, uh, take a uh, silicone scraper and get it all out of your beater here. Get that cleaned up. Alright, what we're going to want to do now is go ahead and take your pan that you've got uh, greased here and go ahead and, and uh, put your shortbread out into it. You can come out in clumps. That's fine. No worries. Go ahead and make sure you scrape everything out of there. Alright. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and start pressing this down into the pan. This is just going to cover the bottom. 
So you want to spread it out and get it nice and even. And actually, the easiest way to do this is with a good old-fashioned measuring cup. Start pushing down on the bottom. Once you get it close, you can go ahead and use your hand to make sure that you get it up in the corners and right up to the edge real good and uh, help make sure that everything's nice and flat. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stick this in the oven. We're going to par-bake it for about 15 minutes. Start letting this shortbread set up before we put our uh, coconut stuff on top here. And just go around the edge and just make sure that you push it down a little bit around the edges. Make sure you don't have any thin spots sticking up against that foil because it'll burn. Shortbread will burn quickly if it's thin needs to be thick for it to cook right. The thing you always want to do with your shortbread is go ahead and just poke some holes in it with the fork because we don't want this to puff up. We want the uh, steam to come out of it and that way it'll form more into a cookie and less into a cake. So just make sure that you go over the entire length of this uh, pan and uh, put your row of holes all the way through there all right so it looks something like that all right i'll get it in the oven so next up we're going to do our filling uh, to start off with the filling you're going to need a cup and a half of your sh sweetened shredded coconut get a cup in there A little more than a cup, I think. So let's do a little less than a half. That'll work. All right, so there's our cup and a half of coconut. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to crack in an egg. And last but not least, we're going to add in one can of sweetened condensed milk. Go ahead and get that in there. We'll go ahead and get that egg pot and we'll go ahead and start folding this stuff together here. You want to make sure this is mixed up really well. You want that egg distributed all the way throughout. And this is going to turn into our, our ooey gooey coconut part on top of our shortbread. So make sure you keep folding it together and get that egg distributed all the way through. Keep your sides scraped down so you don't lose any of your mixture. All right, when you're done, You've got it all thoroughly mixed. Should look something like that. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to wait for our shortbread to come out and we'll get our filling put on it. Alright, after you par bake the bottom for about 15 minutes, go ahead and pull it out and uh, go ahead and get your filling and start getting it into the pan. You want to do this as quickly as you can. You don't have to be in a rush, but you don't want this out of the oven more than about three or four minutes. So get your filling scraped in there. Go ahead and get it spread out evenly over the top of your crust here or your shortbread. Just as evenly as you can get it. Try to get it up into the corners. Nice even spread there. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our half a cup of uh, slivered almonds and we're going to shake those across the top. Get those in up here. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and shake those across the top.
Oh, no. Uh, ain't doing it for a cookbook. All right. So once you've got it to this point, go ahead and stick it back into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until you start seeing it get a nice golden brown around the edges. Once you've done that, we'll be back. All right, we just came out of the oven and you can see it's uh, slightly brown right around the edges. That's exactly what you're looking for. All right, we're going to let these cool completely and then we'll get them cut. All right, this is the part of the video where we have to do the housekeeping. I need everybody to like, subscribe, and share the videos as much as possible. And please hit me up on Patreon. It's $5 a month. That gives you access to all my recipes. Uh, if anybody has any questions out there, hit me up in the comments. You can comment on any video. And I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. All right, we'll let these things cool. And when we come back, we'll be cutting them. All right, we've got our coconut bars out of the oven, and they've cooled completely. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to take them out of the pan and get them cut. All right, just bring your foil up from around the edges of your pan and go ahead and lift straight up. And try not to let it bend, if you can help it. All right, then go ahead and take your foil and peel it down around the edges. It should come away. It might stick a little bit, but peel your foil down around the edges. All right, once you've got your foil pushed down around the edges there, go ahead and lift up on one side, support it with your hand, and peel the foil back. And then do the same on the other side. Once you've got it completely loose from the foil, you should be able to slide it off of there. Just like so. Alright, we're going to go ahead and take our long serrated knife again. Start at one side. Use that same action just like we did with the fudge. Like an old fashioned paper cutter. We'll come down. Let's go ahead and cut this. And we'll give her a shot here. Mmm. Shortbread is nice and crumbly. The coconut filling, very chewy. And the almonds add a great flavor right on top. Alright, that's it for this week. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like subscribe, share the videos, please hit me up on Patreon. Five bucks a month gives you access to all my recipes. Uh, tune in Saturday. Uh, we're going to be doing some uh, taquitos, some fried uh, corn tortilla taquitos. So tune in for that, and we'll see you on Saturday. So until next time, keep rummaging through the cabinets, keep rummaging through the fridge, and turn those what-ifs into a one-off.